Hello, this is Video Free America One, and I got I got another email archive that I dug up on my on my history of my emails, and I think you're gonna like it. I'm not sure if it's on YouTube or not, but it might be. But I got it on my email, email so I went ahead and played it for you. Hope you enjoy it. It really make you open your eyes about things. Thank you. Hi, Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. The president has said a lot of things that made me think. In the United States. Our motto is E Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. But there's one thing he said that keeps coming back to me. I, I keep pondering this. Whatever we once were, we are no longer a Christian nation. And then he goes on to make what I call the demographic argument. We are also a Jewish nation, a Muslim nation, and a Buddhist nation. The argument that not everybody is a Christian, therefore, you know. Of course, there's never been a time when everybody was Christian in the U.S. And obviously, that's not what anybody ever meant by saying this is a Christian nation. So that got me thinking, maybe it would be helpful if the president took a little walk. He could head out from the White House and start by walking out to the Washington Monument. Washington was a man of prayer. Among the many items placed in the cornerstone here is a Bible. And, and up at the top is an aluminum cap with these words engraved on the east side. That's Latin for praise be to God. That means every morning, the first thing to be touched by the rays of the sun in D.C. is an expression of worship. Then he could head up to the Lincoln Memorial. He could read the 16th president's words on the wall. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. With malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right, as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we're in. And this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. Then he could walk beside the reflecting pool and, and cross the tidal basin to the Jefferson Memorial. Right there on the wall, he'd see how Jefferson refers to God as the holy author of our religion. And he also says, God who gave us life gave us liberty. From there, he could walk east past the Smithsonian to the Capitol. You know, Thomas Jefferson attended church services here in the Capitol when he was president. Church services, you know, the, the kind that talk about Jesus. They were held here for 50 years. And sometime when the president is delivering the State of the Union address, he might take a moment to look behind him, because above his head, he'll see this, In God We Trust. And as he walks back home, he might picture the path he just took. Here, look at this diorama at the Smithsonian. He would have walked from the White House to the Washington Monument, then up to the Lincoln Memorial, and back down to the Jefferson Memorial, uh, to the Capitol, and then back home again. 